Hello and welcome to another video. Let's get straight into it. Shield mode on Twitch. Um, I think a lot of us maybe don't use it. I didn't use it myself until recently when I got um, like link spammed after a few minutes after ending a stream. Um, it's there. We should all set it up and use it. It takes a few minutes to set up. Let's look at that now. Um, normally you'll have a shortcut here. I've made the point bigger so you can see. Uh, normally you'll have a shortcut here um, with a shield uh, where you can activate it. If that's not there, uh, type forward slash shield in your chat. Press enter. It will then come on. You can then click here. Click open. And it opens up a window for you here. Let's make this a little bigger. Right, then if you... Um, let's go one size bigger. If you go here and turn on this shortcut, uh, you will then have um, a shield in your chat that you can easily turn on and off with. Uh, so what do you what do you want from shield mode either you can set it to be like a total lockdown So when you turn it on no one can do anything leave it on for a few minutes or maybe go with something uh, a, You know a, just a slightly heightened uh, set of settings that you would normally use to maybe leave it on for a little longer That's what I go for I tend to go for the latter. I don't want a complete lockdown I just want a slightly elevated security state for a little while uh, So I can leave it on for 10 or 20 minutes and then turn it off again so this is where you turn it after you click the shield. This is where you turn it on and off at the top. This is where you turn on um, the shortcut uh, in your chat. So, um, so what am I going to go with here? I don't want to stop all first time chatters. Um, I certainly don't want emo only chat because that lets no one communicate anything. That's really annoying. I also don't want sub only chat. Um, what I am going to go to is follower only chat. Also, if you like to turn on follower only from uh, time to time, I would suggest that you set it up in this shield mode because at least when you turn it on, then you've got this red warning. If you put on follower only mode, uh, you know, if you stream a lot, you've seen the amount of streamers that have turned on uh, follower only mode and then forgotten to turn it off is a very common thing. So I would put set it up in shield mode with that and nothing else. And then at least when it's on, you can see this. Um, so I will have follower only for 10 minutes because that's going to stop a bot. A bot isn't going to follow and then wait 10 minutes to post something. It's going to try and post it straight away. Um, and of course, if any new uh, followers come in uh, and hit follow, you can explain to them that we're in a heightened state because um, of some sort of attack. So they have to wait 10 minutes. So I have follower only chat on for 10 minutes. Uh, slow mode is up to you. That's per person. Um, but most of these bots aren't going to put something more than once. They're going to paste one link or whatever and go, or just hit follow and go. So I personally don't think that you need that on, but if you'd like that on, try it. Uh, Non-mod chat delay. This is more important if you've got on-screen chat text. Um, anything that's typed in, um, if there's not a delay on it, it will. It might be wiped out of your chat by your mod bot, but it'll still display on screen if you've got on-screen chat. So maybe put that on with a four-second delay. Uh, that way, by the time it goes on screen, well, it won't go on screen, it'll be gone. Um, so followers only, non-mod chat delay of four seconds. You can put two seconds if that's enough for you. Uh, Twitch alerts, if you're using Twitch alerts, the built-in Twitch alerts, um, you can have those disabled, which will be great for follow button. So you tick that. I'm not using them, but I might as well leave that on. So when you're in shield mode, no alerts are going to go on screen. So if you're getting a thousand follows from bots, uh, that's just going to disable the alerts going one after another for however long. Um, so that's that's good for me. I don't really want to go any higher than that. Um, if you want to clear the entire chat, I don't want to do that. If you've been streaming for a while, I don't want to wipe out everything that's been said uh, when I go into shield mode. So I don't want that on. Maybe maybe you do. Most of the things that are going to get typed by bots aren't offensive. It's normally advertising or something like that. So yeah, that, that one's not for me. Um, chat verification. So during this 10 or 20 minutes, um, I want it so all chatters must have a verified email address because I think nearly everyone... Um, has verified their email address when they make a Twitch account as if it's their main main account. Um, phone verification. Uh, I don't want to make it so all chatters have got to have a verified phone number because I found out recently that not everyone puts a phone number on their account. Um, so a first time chatter must have a verified phone number. So that should stop quite a, quite a few bots. Uh, and anyone without a verified phone number must have accounts older than six months which I think most people on Twitch that are regular users are going to have accounts that old. Um, chatters without a verified phone number must have followed for more than six hours. So this way, basically anyone that's followed you before today without a verified phone number is still going to be able to chat. Um, so that covers that for me. Uh, that's the chat section. Uh, for, as for new following, um, I just have it 
that all users have to have a verified phone number if they want to follow. Uh, all users must have a verified phone number and email, sorry, to follow. Um, because if they hit follow and it doesn't work, as long as they can type, they can say, why can't I follow? And you can say, oh, well, I've got shield mode on because of whatever. If they can't type, it's going to be frustrating, but not being able to follow, at least they'll say something. So top level for that, top level for that. Auto mod, um, I don't bother to change any of that. It's not, like I say, it's not really offensive stuff that most bots are going to put in. So I, I'd leave that as is. But if you wanted to put that to the highest level, you could. Um, so yeah, really decide whether you want a total lockdown or something that you're going to put on for a few minutes or whether you just want a, a heightened state of security that you can leave on for a little longer. Like say for me, I, I put this on for 20 minutes. So that's normally long enough for all follow bot attacks and things to be uh, to be gone. Um, but chat should still be able to carry on carry on relatively normally um so that that turns it off so we've set the settings how we want um so you're in um i've put the shortcut on there so you and all your moderators can see that so you're streaming along quite happily something happens you start getting followed by you or one of your moderators hits that hits turn on uh, you're now using those heightened state of rules and you won't forget because there's a big red box here that you and all the moderators could see I'll, like I say, I'll leave that on 15, 20 minutes. Um, for some reason, you only get the settings when you click it again. So if you want to click it again, if you need to see the settings, you click that and the settings will come up. So we've left that on 10 to 20 minutes. You think it's okay now. Click this. The settings opens up. Um, and there is the toggle to turn it off. So we turn it off and we're back into a normal state. And there you go. But yeah, it's um, shield mode is there. It's been provided by Twitch. I was certainly guilty of not using it. Um, yeah. Just take a few minutes, set it up, and then it will be ready when you need it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see the next video. Hopefully see you then. Thanks for watching.